listen, in the NBA world, Celtics took care of the T Wolves yesterday. They look they 14 and 3 right now, looking good. The Wolves is 508 and 8. Uh listen, man, what do the Wolves need to do to get back on track? Be here. Your early your team you picked to go far this year. Uh keep playing. And they ain't got no choice but to keep playing. Nah, I'm, but, <laughs> nah, I'm talking about like keep trying to f it out, bro. Duh, nah. they got games to play. I'm just, saying like just keep showing up to work. Nah, yeah, don't, That'd be funny as I'm saying don't think too much about it. You just don't keep think that chemistry off though? Like be having too many highs and then a whole bunch of lows. It's like yeah, because they still trying to figure they, it out. They five hundred. So yeah, exactly what they do, but. They trying to figure it out, bro. But Julius Randle looking out Rudy when he's still the post. As he bro, should. Like, I look like, him off every time. <laughs> now his Rudy for real on some real shit has the worst post work in the league. <laughs> who? It, who his feet remind you? Like for real, for real. Yeah. Javale McGee in the beginning. In the beginning, a in young Javale. Yeah, young I can JaVale. say. Rudy can't catch. And Rudy, you ain't never seen Rudy hit nobody with no Hakeem like move ever, bro. You know what I'm so you said that. you said Rudy bag work on zero. Oh, facts, facts. Build trash, <laughs> defense immaculate. What's bro. his two K build? <laughs> Sean Bradley. <laughs> I ain't bullshitting, bro. He ain't worth a damn. So I, if you call if you calling him off, bro, we not mad at you, bro. Get the, get the wings right, man. Y'all be get Nas get some get some work with Nas Reed and them, bro. Do not pass Rudy go birth the ball, bro. Hey, what made it funny? Rudy like the sad nigga on the team, like bro. Only reason why you touch the ball is on some putbacks, bro. If you get that bitch off the glass, go back up. You coming out the game if you don't go back up? That's your only time, bro. Rudy is not in no offensive packages at all, bro. He don't got no plays. No, bro. Nah. Hey, what make it funny is he got mad and like he pouted and then they got that three seconds call. Hey, he was like, what the fuck? Get your sad ass out the paint, bro. You trash, bro. Hey, he be trying to be humble, bro. But no, you got to cuss him to filth, bro. For real. Hey, what's so crazy is Rudy Gobert gets so much hate and he ain't this shit to nobody. But nah, ever since bro, they COVID picture, bro, everybody bro. just all in on hating Rudy. Nah, that's sad shit, bro. You seven foot. You taking defensive players away from niggas that deserve it. <laughs> yo, your playoff defense is trash, bro. Like, you just, he lame, bro. He lame. lame, bro. Shaq Hendricks pulled up to work today, yeah, boy. Damn. I thought I'd be going in. Nah, bro, a nigga lame, bro. I don't but fuck with niggas like Rudy what I, Goldberg, bro. What, what, I, <laughs> what, I'm happy, what I'm happy to see, though, is Rod Dillahill got a chance to play. Mike sure. is out. Dante took the starting two-guard position. AE was running point, I guess. And um, Dante's having a tough year, but Don, uh, Rob came off the bench, man, what, 16, 17 minutes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, about 14. Shot the ball well. Looking confident, too. Yeah, they going to have to find some minutes for him. Yeah, they like, might have to pull like how the Jerry McCain did for the Sixers. Yeah, they're going to have to find some minutes for him. For sure, man. Because he's capable. Uh, obviously, if you can get 14 points in 16 minutes, you are scoring third off the bench, and they need that. Now, I was going to ask you, um, we looked at the Bleacher Report trade evaluations last weekend. You know, Nick's got an A for Cat. Man, yeah. listen, they were eager to get on from him. I know money was played in the aspect, but do you think they miss Cat right now? Oh, definitely. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. they had chemistry with that group. Yeah. Like, everything was blended good. Like I told you, AE needs the lane to be open. Now, not saying that JR can't shoot, but he not Cat. Yeah. Like, Cat. Cat is way better than Julius Randle. It's not even close. Yeah. Like, especially on the perimeter. Yeah. So, for sure. So, I mean, speaking of clogging the lane and all that stuff. It's Rudy's fault. <laughs> you, first of all, if you get in the three seconds call and you 30 years old, you sad, bro. <laughs> Niggas ain't supposed to be getting three second call, bro, in the NBA. Bro. He wanted the ball. Know your bro. position, bro. Sometimes you got to demand the ball and then, like, they don't oh. give it to you, like, all right, I'm about to prove a point. No, set this screen, bro, and roll. Rudy even rolled the wrong way, bro. <laughs> We can't do nothing with this nigga. We got to play him because we pay him. And he good on the defensive end, bro. You, Draymond, and Shaq, bro. Don't worry about them niggas, Rudy. Come to Pike. <laughs> Shit. T, show the pick roll. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's move on for Rudy. Get slide on this for real. Uh, they, uh, they got the Celtics, you know what I'm saying? They got the best trio in the league right now. Do y'all agree with that right now? They had the best team in the league. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Shout out to, to Derek White. But I'm nothing, bro. Drew Holiday is the three. I'm sleep on Derek White being the three over Drew. Derek White be hooping, though. He's a killer. 
But I, I'm he giving it to Drew. 18, 19? I think the stats is why they put him in the uh, three so far this okay. year. Because he's got a, he, I mean, Drew obviously is Drew, but it's from an offensive standpoint, he averaged 18. Yeah, he uh, Okay, they're doing it. How much is Drew averaging off him? Probably 11. I guess they probably may be a little bit. Yeah, so 12. Yeah. So that's why they put him in that situation. Because uh, I, I guarantee if it was the other way around, Drew Holiday would be there. Yeah, I just think he's more important. But um, he's definitely the most important player on the Celtics, though. I agree. Hell of an yeah. X Factor. Yeah. So, so but I'm not mad at this list, though. What trio do y'all like better, the OKC trio or the Denver trio? Who oh, the Denver trio? Jokic, Murray, and Gordon. You know, I'm rolling with uh, the young yeah, guns. Give me OKC. Yeah, I'm rolling with the young guns. Now, and yeah, that's kind of weird, too, for them, because I, I was going to say you could swatch out MPJ for Aaron Gordon, but Aaron Gordon did a little bit more to get that chip in MPJ did, so I ain't mad at that being a trio. But the young boys is killing. I but can't see, wait to check it back. It's crazy that that's they. <clears throat> It's still early, you know what I mean? But I'm mm-hmm. like, damn, like, and he ain't played yet, but Chris Middleton, Giannis. Yeah. For the Bucks. Dame. That's yeah, a bro. That's big three right there. Uh, who else has ain't been playing well this year? Y'all can't think of another team that got a hard trio. Uh, uh, you can say the Phoenix. Knicks. Phoenix, too, Phoenix though. Phoenix got a trio. Phoenix yeah. definitely has one. So oh. I'm sleep on that list. Yeah, I thought Knicks in there, I got too. it. They got it, though. ESPN always wild. Who the Knicks trio? I mean, you got to go Brunson, Cat, Cat and... Probably OG. Yeah, I'm sweet. Damn, Bridges like ain't him. make y'all cut. <laughs> he ain't make his cut. <laughs> I'm, I'm sweet. He don't make big three. He'll get there. Well, Bridges probably need a good shot. I wonder if he got a girl. Six is supposed right. to have a big three. Man, that was supposed to. Oh, that would have been fire. And it was crazy. They only played like six minutes together since they've all been in the team. Hey, listen, man, a lot of buckets, but who needs some encouragement to Monday morning be here and get well soon? Uh, Van Fleet, bro. Like, I don't, like I said, I feel like it was more than what, like, we saw, but you can't do that to the refs, bro. Crash out for sure. Fuck yeah. them refs. <laughs> Tighten up. I get they out of pocket, you feel me? I don't like refs either, but. Nah, one of the refs called my mama a hoe. Fuck him. Oh, yeah. Oh, Browns did. Yeah. Yeah, he's fair, bro. He said, who them hoes sitting <clears throat> over there? I, I forgot about that, bro. I, he still out of want pocket. My fa- I still want my favorite yeah. shit, Tony Brothers. Nah, for sure. <laughs> Swinging on Tony Brothers would be hilarious. Celebrity death match. That's the type of smoke Van Fleet had with Buddy, though. Nah, for sure. I thought he, like, did him like this in his he, head. He, he tried back, to. So. That would been gangster. Hey, did you see Mac, Mike Brown crash out yesterday on the ref, too? Hey, they've been hating the refs this weekend. He went crazy. He said, I would have pushed you in your head, but I ain't think that was gangster. Is it y'all versus <laughs> them, though? In the NBA? Nah, I mean, shit. Nah. I'm talking about to the players that be crashing out. Like, Everybody. Know? I mean, don't nobody. When you see them in the offseason, you be like, what up? You oh, know, okay. you be thinking about it. Okay, I don't think he's hate him. Yeah, you know, he just might be at Rico Run. He just hate him in the heat of the moment. It's all NBA, all all one big family. Like when a ref, when something bad happened to a ref or, you know, somebody go through something, the players still be like, damn, that was my dog, man. Like, probably only one, probably Scott Foster. Nobody ever feels bad for Scott Foster. Hey, Scott Foster got to come out with a podcast because I know he got some hate to tell about people. Oh, man, when he come out with a podcast, it's going to be the best ever. Yeah, bro. Him people, and some Donahue, bro. They got to link up and do a podcast together. people hate him.